I find it quite staggering how much money is being spent these days on amateur radio. Transceivers, three, four, five thousand pounds, no problem. Amplifiers, same amount. Antennas, you can buy all sorts of crap for many, many um, hundreds or even thousands of pounds. What people don't invest in is uh, it's a simple tool, really. It's a resistor, and I'm not talking about these ones or uh, these ones. I'm talking about, um, hang on a second, I'm talking about these ones. These are dummy loads, terminal resistors, 50 ohms impedance and you should ideally connect them to your amplifier if you tune, tune that damn thing. Uh, this morning I went on, onto the HF bands, crowded as ever, and all I could hear was whistling, whistling and hola, hola, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And I could hear by the noise coming from the background, these massive fans cooling these big ass amplifiers. And that's fair, if you like an amplifier, have an amplifier, I've got one. And uh, I never use it. Well, there you go, that's just me. But then connect a dummy load and tune into the dummy load. There is no need to go on the air and uh, tune your amplifier at full output. Simply no excuse for that. And uh, they don't cost that much, to be honest. These ones, they come in all sorts of uh, um, sizes, obviously. Here's one, a small one, obviously not uh, suitable for ampli big amplifiers, 60 watts, high quality. Not the usual Chinese crap you see on eBay for $20.99. Um, here's another one, brilliant piece of kit for medium, well, smaller applications really, 100 watts or so. Made in Sweden, quality. And uh, this is just the massive heatsink. The uh, resistor itself sits in here. It's fairly small, heats up this block of metal, and the, heats gets, uh, the heat gets dissipated through these fins here. And uh, slightly different story with these ones. Uh, that's too heavy for me to lift. So I pick up the smaller one. These are made by a company called Bird in the United States. And these are possibly the best ones you can buy uh, on, a, on a hobby budget. Uh, this one is under 100 pounds. Granted, it only does 80 to 100 watts but this is enough to tune an amplifier. The bigger ones, um, like, uh, I can't believe I have to, I have to lift this again. Like this 500 watt um, dummy load. Obviously, there's a big ass, resi ass resistor in here, uh, surrounded by oil, and the whole oil heats up and the heat get, heats get, gets dissipated through these fins here. That's all there is to it. Now, I do understand that this is not a nice toy it hasn't got a fancy light no switches it doesn't do anything it's just hidden away connected permanently to the amplifier selectable by a switch but you should have one it's a tool nevertheless and if you take your amateur radio hobby serious which you do if you spend the kind of money on amplifiers and radios then you should invest at least 100 to 200 bucks into a half decent um, dummy load and use it learn how to use it um, if you buy one um, small tip um, I just use this one, it's easier for me to show. Uh, measure between the center of the connector and the outer and it should show you 50 ohms. This is what our systems use. And uh, so make sure your multimeter is set to resistance and it shows 50 ohms. Plus minus 10%, doesn't really matter. Uh, if it doesn't show no, if it doesn't show any resistance, then it's buggered and you don't buy it, okay? So these are very cheap. If you go to a flea market or something, to look for a dummy load, have one of these in the pocket, not a big, uh, big one like this, buy a smaller one for a tenner. Um, at least you can be sure that the resistor is not buggered. So um, I'm sorry about this, but this, you know, annoys me more and more. It's something simple to do. And uh, same, by the way, with uh, connectors, um, antenna connectors and coax cable. Buy the best one, ones you can afford, really, and not the cheap crap. Otherwise, you know, you're wasting all that money and all that energy, it will never reach your antenna. All right, sorry about the rant. Um, in general, I'm in a bad mood today, so forgive me. If you still wanna subscribe, please go ahead, be my guest underneath, hit the subscribe button and uh, <sighs> I feel better now. See ya. Maybe I should just lay off the coffee for a bit. Yeah, that's it, too much coffee.